Welcome back inside Trailblazer Weekly. It's my privilege to welcome our first guest of the new season, on the new set, even, of the new season, men's soccer head coach Tim Busen. Coach, thanks for taking some time out of your busy schedule to join us on the show today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you being here, and uh, like I said, uh, you're the first guest on our new set that we've built here. We're going to have you sign our helmet later. Really excited to, uh, to have you here. Before we get into the media interview, I want to have some fun with this. Um, I like to do that. S imagine that we're finished here. You're walking out the door. If you could snap your fingers, go to any soccer venue in the world to see a game, where are you headed to? I'd probably go out to Spain, take a look at Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Um, you know, it's always kind of been in the back of my mind as a bucket list place to go. And uh, Atletico Madrid uh, is one of my more favorite coaches there and teams. So I think that'd be a nice place to visit. Well, you kind of went into my next question, which was which teams. You named one of them. So who's Atletico Madrid playing in that game then, if, if you get to choose the teams in the venue? Well, you know, so the, the coach from Atletico Madrid is uh, – you know, got the kind of personality, the fiery enthusiasm that you like to see on the sidelines. I think the players feed off of them, but far and away, my favorite player is always Messi, so I've got to watch Barcelona. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to be the, those two. Hope Maybe in a Champions League uh, final or something. Well, there you go. Cool. Like I said, I'd like to have fun with that, kind of get the interview started. Um, let's talk Dixie State now in the men's soccer program, specifically you for a minute, Coach. Uh, it's been a little over four months since you were named head coach here at Dixie State, right in the middle of spring. You didn't have much time to think about things. You just hit the ground running and, and, and took off. What have these last four months been like for you here? It's been good. Um, it's nice that it was a little bit slow in the summer so I could catch up on the things I needed to do and see how the process works. And um, the people have been incredibly supportive, incredibly helpful. I've got a lot of support from the administration and the people that do all of the eligibility uh, things and the academic side of the coin and then with the media relations and getting our things up on the website. I mean, so the support staff here uh, and the people in the area have been incredibly helpful and patient and, um, you know, we've been very busy trying to prepare for bringing the students in for preseason and for our season, hitting the ground running, and I feel we, we used our time wisely, and I think that, you know, we're coming into it pretty confident, relaxed, and, and uh, prepared. Before you came here to Dixie State, you, you, you were at Adams State. Uh, before you know you got out of that cold weather came here to the desert and maybe that's one of the reasons to this next question but why, why Dixie State what jumped out at you about the job well actually I went to Michigan right after uh, going to uh, come going from Adams State and I was in a nice program there uh, as an assistant coach um, Josh Pittman who was the coach here last year actually worked with me at Adams State uh, the year before being the coach here at Dixie and we'd communicated all year, and he said that he really liked it, thought that this program was in good shape. The um, school was uh, uh, supportive in their athletics and, um, you know, good, good academics. So he had a lot of good things to say about it. And then he uh, went to Westminster and let me know that uh, there was an opportunity. Um, I sent my things in. I came for a visit, fell in love with the place. I um, think it's in a great location. Uh, all of the all of the new construction, the buildings, and the way that the growth of this campus is happening so quickly, and the reputation that it's gaining and already had, uh, just was very attractive. So I was very happy to have the chance to step into the to the role. Men's soccer program enjoyed its best season in program history last year. We've talked before. I know that oh, you like to focus on on the here and now. You know, last yeah. year was great and all, but let's talk about this year. How is the team looking so far as you, you know, about a week and a half in fall camp? I'm very pleased. I mean, the guys, like you said, I mean, we're hoping today that everybody comes, shows up on time, has got the right state of mind. We go out there and put our maximum capabilities into our performance this afternoon. So, uh, but each day that we've gone out there, the guys have um, been very focused, very committed, energetic, talented. Uh, the good attitude. I mean, it, it's just been a pleasure to work with them, and and we've really had some good sessions, and and uh, I feel we're moving the right direction. Let's talk. Let's talk both sides of the ball quickly. Say, I'm a fan coming out to Legend Solar Stadium to watch one of your games. Who can I expect to put the ball in the back of the net for you? Well, you know, the nice part is you really 
can't pin it down to one person individually. So we can attack from various positions of the field. Uh, last game we had three goals from three different players. So we're not really trying to ride it on one guy's shoulders. We can share the success and, and it, it can come from defensive players, it can come from wing players, attacking players. So we're, we're pretty versatile in our ability to uh, be dangerous. Now defensively, we already know, you know, Brad Trella, uh, Pac West goalkeeper of the year last year, uh, obviously named preseason goalkeeper of the year this year. Uh, but what about that back line? Who are we looking for defensively other than Brad? Uh, well, uh, Brian Baugh, is an, uh, he's a captain for us. Uh, he's shown some great leadership. I think he's really gained the team's respect, gained my respect. I think a very admirable person on and off the field. Uh, Brad Trella, great leadership. We just have so many guys with strong character that so many people on the team look up to and admire. And we have so much leadership out there that, again, we share it around. And, and that's what's nice. We don't have to um, just try to rely or count on you know, certain individuals. There's just a multitude of guys that contribute to you know, playing the defense and, att and attacking the game. So uh, I, I like our well-roundedness. PacWest preseason poll comes out course take preseason polls for you know for what they're worth take them at face value but uh, Dixie State falls in seventh in that poll uh, what effect does that have on if any on the mentality of the team right now and what they want to do going forward I don't even think it even phases us one iota some you know no more than words or you know writings I mean what's going to matter is you know today are the guys clearing their minds, getting their schoolwork done. They're going to come 100% into what we've got to take care of today. And that's the only thing that matters to us at any given moment is just attacking each day properly and just taking care of our business at hand. What's been the thing that, that you've enjoyed the most working with his team so far in, in fall camp? These guys are very uh, mature. They're very driven. Uh, they get it. It's, it. There's not a lot of explanation. There's not a lot of prodding and, you know, trying to um, bring the energy. It's there. They bring it themselves. They're very self-motivated. They um, communicate very well with each other. They can handle criticism. They like being coached. They want to learn and develop. They're um, in it together. So I just think the, the character overall, the mentality and the values these guys bring as people really, I think, excel um, us achieving, you know, what we're fully capable of. So I, I've really enjoyed, um, I've really enjoyed that about this team. Well, Coach, uh, we really appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, we wish you the best of luck throughout the season. It's always good to get to know our coaches and student athletes better. Um, but before we let you go, I mentioned it earlier, we've got this helmet. We've right. got to have you sign this. You're the first one that gets to come in right. and sign this. So we'll hand you this. Leave the, the markers up here also. We'll have you sign that uh, anywhere you'd like, and we'll okay. have all our guests sign that. So you get to be number one all right. on that. Of course, the men's soccer uh, regular season opener, just less than a week and away, really, coming up very quickly. It's time for another break in the action. When we return, we wrap up the show with a look ahead at the fall sports schedule.